All right, it is 6 o'clock. I will now call to order the October 24th, 2016 meeting of the East Hampton Conservation Commission. The meeting is being recorded. Are there any public concerns, non-agenda items? Great. None. We'll move on to a continuation of the public meeting for a request for determination of applicability filed by Kevin Netto for the construction of two single-family homes at 63 Highland Avenue, Map 129, Lots 18 and 19. So, um, for everyone's, most people were there. So we did a site visit tonight at 5.15, uh, attended by uh, all members present except Ashley Krause. Um, and pretty much everyone in the audience as well. <laughs> uh, we looked at parts of the wetland resource area boundary um, nearest, um, nearest uh, the proposed uh, areas of development uh, with particular interest in the area um, adjacent to the canal, keeping flags A7 and A1, A1 to A7. A7. So um, that's it. Would anyone like to kick off any of the comments, feedback, observations? Okay. So the area where the house is proposed, and there's no tree line on the plan, but the area where the house is proposed is in an area that has been historically maintained as open. It's a little overgrown. Right now, um, in between, there's a healthy stand of tall sumac kind of at the edge of the maintained lawn area and the tree line. Um, not being counted as trees because it's a right. sumac. It's right. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't have included it necessarily in the tree line because it kind of probably encroached upon the lawn area. Um, if I may. Go ahead. Um, so one of the areas that we looked at during the site visit, I know you, you went in to join us, was on the BBW line um, in the vicinity of A31. And as the commission may recall, there's a very defined line of some mature white pines that sort of extend along the rear here. So that was really my focus as far as talking about, yeah, very defined, as far as talking about the wood line. Um, and then to, to Melissa's point, um, once you get beyond the toe of the, uh, the top of the slope, rather upgrade from the wetland, there is a bit of early successional growth um, within what's in an open field area. Mm -hmm. and I guess my, my only concern, I have no concerns with the middle house. Um, my concerns are with the proximity of the easternmost house to the 50-foot buffer. Um, Understand, I understand there's you know, a maintained tree line, lawn line, um, or has been historically. Um, but my concern is that 50 foot buffer comes very close to the corner of the house. Um, and I guess encroachment within the 50 foot buffer all around the area that would be maintained lawn. Later on. Later on, right. I have no concerns with I have no concerns about um, means and methods of construction, site best management practices. Um, that's not my concern. My concern is that the next owner or the next owner or the next owner has doesn't have the understanding of <coughs> the 50-foot buffer relative to their house, and that the the lawn line could creep closer and closer because it's. Can not, put, put monuments on the top of the slope that But I, I don't it. know that this is the right mechanism. My concern is always with a with a determination of applicability, it's not really doesn't it's really not enforceable. Um, in terms of compliant long long term compliance. And the, the fifty foot thing is a big deal with a, a negative determination. Maintaining keeping outside the fifty feet. Um, but if we have, you know, and I'm, I'm okay with a, determina a negative determination with a couple of our a couple of conditions like let us know when your work is getting started and use erosion and sedimentation controls. I think those are all kind of standard industry standard 
practices. Um, but, if, you know, I don't think it's a monumentation sort of thing. Okay. I, I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't, <clears throat> if you have to go into that many conditions. Maybe it shouldn't be in any Right. So that's kind of my personal balance there. Um, I mean, as to the concerns uh, for future work mm -hmm. within the 50 foot buffer zone, mm -hmm. um, as the commission is aware, there are a number of minor exempt activities that may mm -hmm. apply to a property, but those all require at least the 50 foot setback. Right. So anything that would be within the inner 50 would require mm -hmm. the filing of an RNDA by a future landowner. Mm -hmm. um, and I have seen the requirement of monumentation on a determination um, and sometimes prior, as a prior to a start. So just as you get your notification of start, you would also want to see that monumentation in the field. Uh, when I see it, it's when the commissions are going out, if they do, to inspect the erosion controls. Um, but I do absolutely agree that, that you know, that's at the, the comfort level of, of the commission. I mean, if there were to be monuments, one way or another, you know, administrative mechanism or not, if there were to be monuments at the 50-foot buffer, they would be coming along the edge of the driveway and, what are we, 40 scales? It's a 30. 30 scales, yeah, thank you. Um, I don't have a scale, I'm using my thumb. So how far is the corner of the, the southeast corner of the house from that 50 foot boundary. If you have scale, that would be fantastic. Thank you. So, most you're concerned with the. So, if I go to the closest point, right? It just happened. <laughs> I've, I've, got, I've got five feet. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh. I just lost it. You just lost what? I don't oh, know. I don't know. What did you do? What did you do? I don't know. <laughs> I was typing word close and then started shutting down. Just some details or minutes. Not like four. I don't think that's going to help us. <laughs> do you need a pad of paper? Oh, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> I could keep things going. Old fashioned, you Right there. <laughs> okay. One moment, please. That doesn't work. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> we change rooms and everything goes down. So. I know. I had juju here. Oh man. This has, this has done this to me before, though. Only you. Only not as dramatically as this. Yeah. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Thank you. Five feet. Five feet. She said five feet. What was five feet? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the closest yeah. okay. so, the, so the 50 foot setback, the erosion controls will be placed at the 50 foot, and this distance is five feet. So they can't go. They couldn't bring any machinery around. They'd have to loop around the other way, all the way around and that, all the time. And, yeah, and this was reviewed, before, you know, by the client before. Yeah. Because okay. of the extent of room further away from that wetland, it should be feasible. Easy. Okay. So, So, um, to other points that are usually of concern to the commission, this is not subject to DEP stormwater management standards. Okay. Not a subdivision. Single family residences don't trigger stormwater management. Mm -hmm. um, I assume the driveway would be paved. So, the way that we proposed it is that it would be considered impervious whether or not they change to go to a gravel. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I think, as far as the Eagle Fest goes, we all know what compacted gravel is like. You know, it's yeah. Not, it's not going to be a grassed area. So. Mm -hmm. 
It should be subject to the city's stormwater management ordinance, though. Regardless. For Regardless, which um, there's a category for projects disturbing less than an acre but greater than 10,000 square feet. Um, but that is supposed to be administered through the building inspectors. Mm -hmm. and if city it's engineer. not administered through the city Conservation engineer. Commission right. under an NOI, it's administered through the city engineer. City engineer. We don't have one. City engineer. Okay. We might soon. <laughs> <laughs> What was the reasoning for locating the house, particularly where it is, east to west? Is that a matter of the set, the offset? The offset. Okay. So, so it's as close to the western boundary as it can be? I think it could move maybe by the scale, it looks like three feet maybe that way, so they may have wanted to air that three mm -hmm. so they weren't going to shoot the setback. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Oh. Okay, I got some. And where might the roof drains discharge? So, be because there wasn't a full storm water mm -hmm. under this as a signal family. Mm -hmm. Those details haven't been provided on this site plan, but um, it's my understanding that they would be reviewed. By the so my biggest concerns are uh, encroachment upon the 50-foot uh, buffer, um, especially where it comes so close to the corner um, of the house there, uh, and and then this is a very um, sensitive area in terms of um, stormwater, increasing impervious area, um, the groundwater table with that large forested wetland system to the north. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of people along the street have historically had problems with uh, wet basements. Yeah. Um, and so don't want to have another incremental increase in impervious area exacerbate um, potentially, uh, potentially exacerbate an existing problem. Um, but it sounds like stormwater would be addressed under the ordinance, the city's ordinance, mm -hmm. as long as someone can review it. As long as someone to administer it's, it. If it's not the city engineer, then it's director of public works. It would stay within that department. Okay. And that department has done these before? We'll work with them. Okay. If it's not him, then he can he can hire a consultant to do it if he doesn't feel comfortable. Okay. It. Okay. So, questions: Do we feel comfortable with more robust conditions than we would normally administer, or with the understanding that the city would still have uh, stormwater compliance? What would be required of a project this size? Not too much, you know. I mean, the, the ordinance was written with the idea of trying to balance, mm -hmm. you know, doing some things with stormwater and, um, you know, but not trying to, you know, suppress this development, mm -hmm. you know, for small sites and that sort of thing. So, um, and to be honest, I haven't really seen how it gets applied to small projects. Because um, it's usually out of our... Yeah. Yeah. So the intent would be that um, the at the site development level, the you know more detailed design level, there'd be a look at implementing, you know, more friendly techniques, low impact development type things, and pervious, mm -hmm. uh, pervious surfaces, you know, detention, retention, reuse of, you know, um, green barrels, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so that was kind of the intent, was to get people to look at that at the, at the development stage. So, this is a Boxford silt loam. That's why I have the wet basements. I'm just wondering, here I am. So the field, the open area is three to eight percent slopes. 
estimates at fairly, you know, level area that we want. There may be some manipulation from the construction, obviously, in the estimates of the swimming pools and things that are around. Mm -hmm. So then, oh, you do have that. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know, I know this isn't a terribly fair question to ask at this point, but um, do you know the drainage class of, bo of a box road silt loan? Um, I'm not do saying you know that it's a moderately. <laughs> so basically how, you know, what is the likelihood that the water's going to move through the soil column? It's a, it's a silt loan. Well, it's not so it's not going to move. It's not right. I mean, I give that. It's a three to eight percent. So yeah, I'm that's a slope. Yeah, but it's not your your infiltration and percolation rate is not. It's not there. You're talking a, a fine picture soil with microphone. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This one's coming out. Okay. What is that? This is oh, so that's gone. gone. Oh, I see. Oh, it changes. Oh, no, it's there. Oh, this is kind of all fenced in. Oh, this repair. Gone. The shed is kind of falling apart, but the garage is okay. Mm -hmm. The box for, as I was saying, moderately well, and then it goes to somewhat poorly. It's right on that line. Okay. And that's all good texture. So just to play it through the other way, if we were to issue a positive termination, what difference would come? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we would then have more, we'd have regular follow-ups, and then, because they'd have to submit an NOI. But it wouldn't necessarily affect stormwater management. Mm -hmm. No. But the monuments cannot be placed at the uh, top of the slope and be in the 50-foot buffer zone. We have to, everything has to stay out of that. So we couldn't allow them to get to the top of the slope. To clear the yard. Well, right, right now, no, we they're, don't need to. Oh, they're yeah. not asking for that. Right no, now. I know, but if I was living there, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have that tree line in my front window, so I would clear it. Right. So the next person in there is going to want to clear it. So right. is there some way we can authorize it to the top of the slope? No. Or is it 15 foot buffer zone? We can't do that. We we can only act under an RDA. We can only act on what's before okay. us. Um, I mean, we could. Condition it with monuments at the 50 foot. <coughs> and if it's not done, then it's a violation of the Commission's determination and we issue an enforcement order and proceed from there. How long does that stay an enforcement mechanism? It's not filed with the B. No, there's no recording. Mm -hmm. so, so that would be so a it, benefit. But so it's it's something that's it you know it's something that stays it's something that exists forever but it's something that exists forever only in our files essentially right mm -hmm. so subsequent homeowners wouldn't necessarily have it and the registered deeds wouldn't have it there would just be these things mm -hmm. the only other yeah. place that it might be in the city records is when the building permit is pulled now that we have an online permitting system that comments get placed into there. So as part of um, the commission's review of any building permit, there could be some comments that are placed in there that reference the RDA. And you could reiterate whatever conditions you want to, and it would live in that computer system. But that's it's not the same. Not the same. If I, if I may, mm -hmm. the, the concept of the monumentation, so that future landowners understand that there's a 50-foot buffer zone mm -hmm. there. But there's a visual. Um, Not to move indicator. past a certain line yeah. or clear past a certain line. With, with the intent of that being in perpetuity and then no future review 75 years from now would be permissible? The, this or? is what's been allowed and unless they want to request via formal application some modification of it, um, that, you know, 
they would have to go through that process, and the commission would have to review the scale and nature of what's being proposed at that time. So the monumentation is um, physical monumentation, such as right. a post stone, something along the lines of what they would, like that. and that would be on a surveyed plan. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Just demarcating where that fifty percent right. or something is. Right. It's Right. <laughs> That's the concern, as yeah. a, that, that if there's just this thing periodically in the yard. Those are in the way of my mower. <laughs> I'm going to pull them out. <laughs> I wouldn't know what it was. From their point, is it worth pushing the house back further to get further away from the 50-foot buffer? Again, we're stuck with this. Yeah, I know, I understand. But, but um, that's what I'm saying from their side of the right, they could. puzzle. I mean, that's more impervious cover. And right, yeah. and we're increasing impervious yeah. area because yeah. the driveway gets longer. How long is that driveway now? Currently, that one is just shy of 80 feet, about 78. <clears throat> Any driveway length would have to go through a, you know, a DPW or a check yeah. down anyway. What trigger is that? Curb cut. What? Curb cut permit. Oh. <clears throat> Does the driveway have to be a certain distance from the property corner? Um, I'd have to go pull the zoning. The only regulations regarding driveway that I recall is the width of the driveway. Mm -hmm. um, and there's different standards for residential, commercial. There's mm -hmm. no length limitation. The only limitation that we have is with a cul-de-sac. DPW may have other standards that I'm not aware of in terms of length. And again, it's somewhat challenging aspect of this, but certainly nothing that um, should pressure the Conservation Commission is that this is uh, an application from mm -hmm. the NOS. They haven't purchased the land mm -hmm. yet. So it's sort of them doing their due diligence mm -hmm. during this purchase and sales agreement to see, you know, if there are concerns or anything that maybe maybe they would want to step away from. Um, but at the same time, wanting to give you information mm -hmm. um, so that you can pass judgment. But to your point, Melissa, you know, you have what's in front of you. Right. Certainly, if the project moves forward and in going through the process with other boards, if there is a significant change to the RDA, this one, that your determination in essence would become null and void. They'd have to come back with whatever provisions um, may, have been, Honestly, may or may not have been required by the if, if the house moves back and the driveway gets longer, or if the house rotates. Can you show a hybrid determination? <laughs> the, you, know, <laughs> you know, we have two, two parts, two of the three parts of the project. Yeah. <clears throat> I absolutely understand your concerns about future mm -hmm. development, but I have to say that based on what is proposed before you, when reviewing the work under 1053.3 and whether or not that's going to have an adverse impact on the associated wetland, we we're very comfortable with proposing the locations where they are. Um, you've got, albeit silt loams, you've got, we're keeping all the work on the level. We're not going right to the top, the top of that slope there. Um, the phasing for the construction is solid to ensure that we have a stable work area. Um, and overall, when you look at the, the acreage and the buffer zone associated with the resources, um, keeping that sort of clustered and towards the island ad is a, a benefit as well. So if we were to condition this, what conditions in general, regardless of the mechanism, what conditions would we be, we'd be thinking about? Monumentation? Can we put something about monumentation in the title or the deed so that when it sells, people are and we have no authority to do that under this mechanism? But we could with an NOI. Yeah. And we've done that before. And really, we're not, I mean, I, I, wish, I wish we could make decisions separately on the two houses proposed. Um, because the, the middle house is 
essentially outside the buffer zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the corner of a deck, and um, you know we're talking about a net yep. decrease in well that carport structure is coming out. So. Um, what is the footprint of that, roughly? The carport or the proposed deck? The carport for now. The carport is very roughly. Yeah, it's going to be about 30. It's got an odd shape. It's about yeah. 30 by 20, missing a chunk from that add-on. Mm -hmm. And I estimated that little smidge of the second proposed deck at approximately 64. Can we get a, can we get monumentation plus an as built of the survey monumentation before construction on the residence on the residence there begins? What the drawing does other than we have something in our files showing that the monumentation was in place. There's nothing to keep them from moving it later. Big monumentation. <laughs> really <laughs> heavy. Yeah. Could you do like big landscape docks? We've done that before. Too. Hundreds of pounds. Yeah. We've accepted that as monumentation. Yeah. Uh, Why is that as monumentation? Mm -hmm. Specify again. Again, would you want that five feet out in front of them? Maybe not. We're talking about Jay. The presence of monumentation <laughs> still wouldn't be further vegetation. Further vegetation. Further vegetation. Yeah. Further vegetation. Yeah. Like by hand going around, like going around, cutting around the large mm -hmm. rock. Yeah. yeah. Or just cutting trees that are behind it. Oftentimes, the monumentation I see is put in place also to ease future monitoring of the conservation commission. Because if you're just driving so by and you see yeah. a big rock in the aisle, lo <coughs> island of lawn, you know that it. someone's right. yeah, <laughs> something <laughs> has been in that place. Well, can you not plant? You can plant. I just wouldn't want to see everybody. Yeah. <laughs> we go with something more native. Like yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Um, we're but technically what they're asking for is a visual barrier. Um, I know but I'm saying what they were asked for is all you know within the limits. Plan. It just doesn't right. make and a long term. I would, I would think a granite post, you know, set at grade that says clearing limit on on the top or something like that. Mm -hmm. in concrete. Yeah. <laughs> or concrete. So you can see so there's legible, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean a five foot boulder five feet away from the house is only two and a half feet away from the house. That's yeah. going to be... Even... You can't, yeah. Yeah. Most people wouldn't even want to walk around the corner. Yeah. Um, again, not our... Right. So, we can go either way. Again, this is just a... If, if, the, if the conditions are satisfied, then the determination would stand. And if they're not, it would be loose, it would be null and void, and they'd be in there would be a violation, and we could enforce the violation. In so much as we can enforce violations. And our other option is to require an NOI. Right. Which would then result in a recorded order of conditions, um, which could include... Could we do that, even though all of the work is technically within the... It's in the buffer zone. Okay. Still in the 100 foot buffer zone. The general rule of thumb for a negative determination is 50 feet. Okay. Um, 5,000 square feet of disturbance or less in buffer zone. There are other ones, but those are the biggies. Stormwater managed in accordance with the standards. But that's only, you know, that particularly pertains to the state standards. So if they went from NOI, we could enforce the monuments to be at the top of the slope instead to give more space for the yard? Well, if we, you know, if we went through the NOI process, then the owner could propose 
you know, cutting additional mm -hmm. and, you know, putting monuments there, you know. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it gives more flexibility on both sides. But again, that's not what they're asking for. Right, that's not what they're asking for. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Hypothetically. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, is that something that the potential future owner might entertain? Or is what's shown... I mean, I know what's shown is what's being asked. Um, I can tell you that this went back and forth in-house as far as okay. limited work goes, because the original limited work that I had seen, um, the survey consultants had set all the way along this 50-foot mm -hmm. buffer zone. So I had reached out to the applicant and I said, are you serious? Do you need that much space to to work in, you're getting into the wood line, they said, no, that wasn't their intent, that, that they just picked the 50-foot line. And so then we were able to significantly reduce that potential impact of clearing into that area mm -hmm. by adjusting the limit of work further to the south. Mm -hmm. So I, I think we need to pull back and look at what's being proposed. And is, is what's being proposed acceptable to commission future concerns aside? Because right now, there is mm -hmm, right. nothing. Then yes. Then the, what's the being proposed is within the limits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, have, I obviously have stated my concerns. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't mean these concerns are going away. Mm -hmm. um, but with what's being presented and the way the regulations stand, Especially with regard to stormwater, I don't see any benefit. I don't know how others feel other than our discussion. You don't see any benefit to going through a longer process, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't really have a problem with a negative determination. With conditions? With conditions, personally. What's being proposed is correct, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Julie, do you have anything to add? I always tend to lean towards wanting to see more detail and more things written in stone, but I'm, I'm okay with going forward as is. We can put it in stone, you can <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Okay, I can't make a motion. Would I care to make a motion? Um, well, where's the paperwork? Yeah. Motion paperwork. <laughs> where's the cheat sheet? Okay. Other discussion item is: Would we ask for monumentation along the whole 50-foot line, or just within a certain distance of the corner of the house? There. And I guess it, to me, it doesn't seem to be that necessary, except for within, you know. What's the driveway and the house? Yeah, the driveway. Yeah. So not part, but not. Oh, I think you have some wetland flags that maybe you could cite. That would be helpful if you meant to designate an area. Looks to between A1 and or between the um, roadway right of way limit and A7 or A8. <coughs> Captures the. Okay. A8. Okay, so I guess I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking of moving to issue a negative determination number three. The work described in the request is within the buffered zone as defined in the regulations, but will not alter an area subject protection under, under the Act. Therefore, said work does not require filing a notice of intent subject to the following conditions. And uh, conditions being that the limit of 50 foot buffer zone be monumented in the field from the roadway to as far as about wetland flag A8 with some kind of hard um, structure that has a 
text printed on it indicating limit of clearing. <coughs> I'm going I'm to type it when I'm done saying it. <coughs> and, um, and that the monument should be uh, surveyed and a plan provided to the commission prior to, um, prior to work, kind of construction start on the remainder of the project, essentially. And that the 48 hour notice. Yeah, and that 48 hours notice prior to construction be given to the commission um, to allow for the observation of the erosion, erosion sediment controls. And the monuments. And the monuments. All right. A second? I'll second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Okay. It's, we'll sign the paperwork tonight, but I need to get that into it. Okay. Um, so. Can we, would, would you like to pick it up from the planner's office? Would you like us to mail it to you? Um, picking it up would be more efficient, so. Okay. Is that good? That's good. Can I ask a question? Sure. Put that um, when you say the swimming pool is going to be filled in, will that all be taken out of there? I'm just thinking of water underneath the flow. Is, the pool going to be removed or just filled in? Usually there's only the uh, sufficient amount that's removed and the rest of it's filled in because it's impervious and they just fill it in with um, clean fill. The sides are impervious? But the, yeah, it's a, it's all, I believe this one is concrete, it's all in ground. Is yeah. that going to have any effect on water? Flowing. I mean, we no more so than no. Yeah, now. it's already okay. in a pattern. I guess yeah. is what I'm trying to say. Oh, <laughs> it's it's not be it. <laughs> it should be better. So it's not going to be. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Should we be passing this around? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay, we will. Um, Get this. by tomorrow. Just the uh, city planner's office? The planner. Uh, okay. We're around the corner. Yep. So I will um, report back to the applicants mm -hmm. in regards to tonight's decision. Um, thank you very much for your time and your talk. Your thoughts throughout this process. I will also remind them that they have um, a number of other steps to take with other departments, mm -hmm. and um, should there be any changes, that they would need to return to this commission to um, seek approval for them. Okay. Um, particularly stormwater. Particularly the stormwater. Okay. And kudos to these people for having that in place. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm giving this to you for safekeeping for now. I will email you the updated page and then it can be answered and, and scanned and everyone will be happy. <laughs> right. Right, so. Everyone will be happier. Sure. <laughs> no guarantees on that. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you guys. Good night. Yeah, good night. Okay. okay, moving on. Um, no, okay. That's what I thought. Oh, the other day. Okay. No, sorry. Yeah. No. Three dance in the room today. Yeah. Jeez, so it's, like, it's like it's like work. <laughs> We just need some dates. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next on the agenda, um, just. And I have what just so no. Let me just take a minute and a half here. This tiny little keyboard, it probably these letters are like, you know, maybe 85% of how big the key should be in a <laughs> 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 
Apparently. Got my compact 64. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where's the museum going? No, I should, have, I should have saved all that stuff. No, you really shouldn't have. <laughs> Use the word should. I shouldn't do that. You just use should. Should have whatever. Any paper yeah. on Town Beach? Weak drawings, I believe. Okay. Uh, as built drawings. Yeah. What's happening over there that we can't paint? It's early voting set up. Uh, I thought it would be a better flow. Definitely. For people, so. Hope we don't need to get into our files. What's oh, happening tonight? Oh, no, we can't. It's all locked up. It's locked. If you like that, it'll be eight, but they ain't So our next meeting is the 14th. Right, 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 right. <laughs> we're, we're good. It was just one meeting we were displaced. Am I missing anything here? I assume everyone's had dry basements this year. We, we never, as you know, we never had a problem. I've been with a few, but we used to. We are on my head. It's really that giant weapon system. Yeah. And if you look I just, at the, I just get the complaints right. that nobody else wants to come down to meetings. So. Our side, though, so <laughs> warm and fuzzy. We do get. Um, we don't, but people on that side do get when the um, man behind us, you know, is filled in and moved stuff is moved around. But, um, no. It's interesting, if you look at the soils mapping, um, they're all uh, very level um, and not very well drained soil classes. We also have a raised range too, so the, 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 the foundation is only going four feet, you know, as opposed to eight. Because the groundwater water table is so Right, high. so I'm sure the water table is, is there. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, I'm glad there are some people at least who aren't right. suffering the wetness. No, no, it's just it really the ranch is so has a you know full basement. <coughs> and this year's been pretty good. <laughs> Ready. Okay. Um, next item is um, still the city the request for certificate of compliance for our town beach national pond fisherman access. Um, Waiting for as is. We're waiting um, for Terry's markups on the site plan as an as built. Okay. Um, he's aware of that. I don't know where he is with it. Um, but we basically just need his engineer statements tra transcribed onto that as built um, so that we have the as built in the file. Okay. See, this is the October 14th yep. meeting? Or November November even. 14, yeah. <coughs> um, a few. There are some update. We there are some email updates regarding the spill response clean of actions that can be forwarded from the commission's email address. So I will forward them before the next meeting. Unless someone else wants to go in. Okay. Uh, no update. Oh. Um, the autumn, no updates on any of the uh, A, B, or C, Bernard Gall properties, including those being taken care of by DEP. Um, have not heard back from DEP about Carolyn Circle. And um, autumn properties, I just need to um, scan an email. I updated the letter uh, with November 28th as the the middle deadline. Um, that is the commission's middle deadline for the first October, uh, December meeting. I'm going back it. So that will go out tomorrow. Um, Record time for issuing that enforcement order. Would you just shush? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, with that, um, Echo Dale West Orchard status updates. I'm oh, sorry. What's just, the? I, I can't get to it. I just okay. don't have the staff capacity right now. So once some other things get cleared off my plate. Once an arts coordinator is hired, then then I'll have some free time again, I think. Um, so I apologize for the delay, but okay. I can't. <laughs> can't do it. Okay. Um, compliance updates. There, we're on a bi-weekly cycle for Paul Street extension, so there's no update this week. Uh, Pleasant Street Mills. Any updates? By the ramp is stable where the okay. concern was, it looks fine. So. Okay. The project is essentially completed. Um, 
My understanding from you previously was that we cannot request a certificate of compliance until the wetlands have been established for two years. So you, you could either request a partial. So would you? Is that your that preference? It's whether okay. it's we can we can talk about the pros and cons. Yeah. I'd um, like partial means you have to file more than once. And record more than once. Okay. Um, Con. Is there a cost? There's no cost to the certificate of compliance, is there? No, there's a seventy-five dollar recording fee. Besides the recording fee, but there's, there's no recording fee. No, and, well, and it's a municipal entity, entity so right. okay. there's no fee. Um, pro is you start whittling away at the outstanding items there. I'm sorry, the pro is what? You're whittling, you're, it's, it's less that you have to go after. Right, okay. So you could get us to sign off on, you know, the infrastructure minus the vegetated wetland replication components. Okay. And refresh my memory again, you need, you need as built. Mm -hmm. um, site photos. I have the as built plans already, so those are done. Mm -hmm. um, you need site photos, which I certainly have plenty of those. Mm -hmm. Um, don't you know? <laughs> really? You don't want my no. 300 pictures of meals? <laughs> <Nope. laughs> From start to finish? Um, and a letter? Is that what you need? Just that? It's, um, it's a letter and then we... Um, from Rob Levesque, right? That's who the letter would be coming from? It could be, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then the form. There's like a two-page form. Okay. What's your resolution on the typo and the... The wetland restoration, you know, our concerns about whether they the wet basins. Yeah, the we a notch was put in one of the drainage. Are you talking about the one that had too much water in it? Maybe. The one that was holding water when it hadn't rained. Yeah. 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 So we talked to them about that and the whatever that structure is down there, that big concrete mm -hmm. structure. There was um, we looked at the levels where the pipe was coming in and where the pipe was going out, and so they basically cut a notch in it to allow it to drain mm -hmm. so that it would go back to the levels that it's supposed to be at. Okay. So So they put the pipes in at the wrong elevations? No, I think it was just um water came in where they yeah, didn't expect it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know I don't know why. I feel like this Honestly. is a common problem like in in general, not with just with the mills, but behind these stamps and savings bank, it was a problem too. Mm -hmm. um, where they put a detention basin at a certain elevation that was supposed to be separated from groundwater by what's the foot? Four? Two? Two? I want to say two. I don't know. I just said two. There's supposed to be a, a specific minimum distance between the, se the seasonal high groundwater table. Mm -hmm as evidenced by reductomorphic features and other indicators in the soil. <laughs> so when, when it's not seasonal high groundwater and the water goes out, it does things with the iron in the soil. Yeah. And um, I think that's what you do, the, that's what you read in right. the test pits. And so you're, the bottom of your basin is supposed to be a certain um, separation from that high groundwater point so mm -hmm. that you, do, you don't get groundwater creating that standard yeah, yeah, water yeah. situation. Yeah. So. I don't know what the reasoning was, but the fix was to put a notch in the, and it was supposed to work. So we cut it on the lower one, though. That was <coughs> yeah. We would have I, the same problem, I right? have to say, I haven't. I don't think I've been out there since they were supposed to fix it. I don't know. So I, have, I need to go out there. Jay, have you noticed it? I have not yes. noticed it. Well, no, that was no. it's been her survey. Right, next time you walk your dog, yeah, right. you need to take a look take at a it. Look at okay. It. I was there today to look at the ramp, but I didn't. I didn't look at the other location. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really comes down to it. If you dig a hole that's six feet deep, you're probably going to have water. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're in the plains, and then you're going to go 400 feet, yeah. and you're not going to have water. You go pretty deep in my house, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, um, thank you. Mm -hmm. Nash Monic Mills, 15 Cottage Street. No updates? We know of. Again, same deal with the Oxbow. I haven't gotten any. Terry. Um, this will be on our next agenda regarding uh, Boyle A to Z storage 184 Northampton Street. Mr. Boyle has requested a two-year extension of the order of conditions. Okay. Um, that will be on our November 14th meeting agenda. Okay. Um, 
no uh, no updates regarding Town Beach. It's going to stay on there until we get the certificate of compliance. Um, no updates regarding uh, additional invasive species work at Lathrop. This is an off week for updates on Williston. We got the updates last week. The bridges are complete. Everything looks stable. Okay. Um, no further updates on Nashwana Pond Aquatic Veg Management. All quiet for the season. Hopefully they'll have something next year. Yeah, I don't think we really need to have this on here on the agenda anymore. Okay. Are you going to remember for next summer? I'm sure Gary will. Um, Lovin, um, it will be on our next agenda that um, they submitted a um, nomination of two environmental professionals, Mark Reed and Chuck Dachi, to serve as their environmental compliance monitors. So that will be for the commission to discuss at the next meeting. Uh, general business meeting minutes, September 26th. I can make a motion to approve the October 17th minutes. Um, did we, we didn't do September 26th. Because there's comments in there that have to be adjusted. Okay. With that one, we'll continue. We can get snarky in the snarky we, comments. It was <laughs> a very brief line. We could say something like as amended, perhaps. We'll just do it in our time. I'd rather, I'd rather have the final flag. Mm -hmm. so yeah, wait, hold on. So. <laughs> okay. uh, Logan, Logan Properties, so they nominated, do Mark we want to? Freed and Chuck Dachi. Do we act on that? At our next meeting. Oh, at our next meeting. Review their nomination and okay. discuss. Got it. Never mind. Okay, go back to where we were. Carry on. Yeah, right. <laughs> So we're, um, we're pushing the September 26th meeting minutes to the November 14th meeting, uh, pending amendments or revision, uh, removal of snarky comment. <laughs> and uh, now we have the October 17th. So motion to approve October 17th. Second. All those in favor? All right. So can I ask you to, there's minutes that are missing off the city website. Jay, so I have, take note. <laughs> no, I have uh, two oh. more um, things to scan to get to Barbara. To send to Barbara. Yes. Okay, August 22nd. I'll confirm it. September 12th. And you said you're holding on the 26th yep. to the next meeting, and then the 17th you just voted on, and then the 24th, which is today. So. Okay, well, hopefully we'll be caught up by the end of the next meeting. No, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. I have oh, the comments of the scan on this. Okay. It would be so nice to have some. I can scan them and send them up if you want to give them to me. Well, Maybe. if you have nothing to do, I'll... I'm <laughs> <laughs> sorry, what were you just saying? I mean, I can I'll convert them to a PDF. I mean, whatever you need. Okay. Sounds like something to do for breakfast. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay, um... I don't think we have any correspondence. I think it's locked it's in the locked other room. In the other room. And oh, I don't think there was anything. Nice. We, we, we just wrote last week. It was last week. All right. Are there any other discussion items under general business before we for the, for the benefit the of the public, the snarky comments just just dealt with people picking apart <laughs> the enforcement order type of thing. It wasn't about any citizens or anything like that. It was about the commission. Somebody got hurt feelings. <laughs> Somebody taking the mix. <laughs> It's a so, <laughs> with that, I think we can make a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Second. Second. Thank you.